Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. Oh man, we had kind of a surprise attack last time. Um, I guess I had it on 3 speed for a little while after it had said that the raid had begun, and since they were attacking immediately, they must have split up. Um, whenever I went to look, there was only, what was it, like four guys coming this direction, and I guess two more guys snuck around this way. Um, so I was flanked there for a short while. A little bit scary, a little bit worrisome, but it ended up not being a problem, thankfully. We ended up taking care of them, and uh, yeah, everything was was good. We've got a poor bed here I would like to replace. Sounds like Carol and Hubbard are hunting. Hilariously. <laughs> oh has uh, muscle parasites now. That's always sad. Um, there's nothing I can do about that really. Uh, just treat them when they need treatment over and over again. I don't know if it takes into account the treatment quality, if that has anything to do with it. Oh wow. Well, he is a new recruit now, but that's something. I suppose I need to set her up with something to do. What are you good at, ho? Put her as a number two for this. Looking will be a one. You should warden when she can. Uh, she can take up one of these other uh, bows. I think the shoddy one was the better quality one. And the way that it looks, she has a pretty decent shooting skill. So that's very good. Uh, she has a passion for handling and growing. So I think we'll have handling as a two since Squires is our primary handler. Um, we'll have her do other things first. Growing and plant cutting will be her primary deal, kind of like Hubbard, except Hubbard is also hunting right now. I think that'll about do it, I would say. Okay, Hubbard is wandering around sad right now, for whatever random reason. Oh, are you a night owl or something? No. Why are you asleep in the middle of the day? I have no idea. Go ahead and equip this bow, and then get up and go do something. Okay, she's also had her leg torn off. I figured because she was moving incredibly slow. The hoe come in here and get to resting. Koth will get that done for you. I think Harold is the one with the other peg leg? Yeah, and it's a left leg there. Oh no! Ah, oh, failed. Can you just not fail, Koth, please? Oh, he's gonna use herbal meds? Watch him succeed with herbal meds. Ah, he did. That's so funny. Look at the quality level with that 91% with an herbal meds. So we certainly... I'm certainly excited to see these all get harvested. that we'll have some of those to go on. Um, and now that she's a colonist, not just a prisoner, they will be using the herbal meds to treat her muscle parasites. But like I said, I don't know if there's a... if it takes into account the medicine. No longer incapable of walking, that's good. 
She's fully healed, even. That's even better. Okay, how are we looking on materials right now? We've got a bunch of steel. We could do, we could do with some wood. I have some uh, marked to be cut, and we have these creopia trees growing. It's a creopias, however you want to call it. They've got a long way to go, though. Um, I'm not sure how much we're going to be building with wood. So we should be okay for right now. No idea. A bunch of neuro trainers. And they want us to pay them for the location. Let's just po po postpone that. Wow. One of these days I'll learn how to talk. They have an armored vest for a thrombo horn. That sounds good. But I don't think it's worth it right now. Okay. There is an item stash not too far away that has a bunch of good stuff in there. If I remember correctly, it's only a couple of days journey. Two and a half. 2.1 even. We would only need about four or five days of food. Okay, Koth is going. Who's our main cook? I think it's Itamu. Take the new... new folks here. They all should be armed, so whatever's protecting it, we should have a decent chance of taking care of it. Take some of that. 5.7. Why is it just alternating between 5.7 and 5.3? really confused about how it's counting the day's worth of food here. I think we do it where the maximum here is a 5, like that. We'll take 592 chemicals. And uh, we want to exit out northwest. Accept. Okay. Let us see them gather up their goodies. Koth is grabbing all the food, of course, like a greedy piggy piggy, like he is. All right, Itamu and Squires should be able to hold down the fort should be. We'll see, though. Moving, wandering. Okay, they're out there. Let's visit the item stash as soon as we can. I hope that walking through here doesn't mess anything up. I wonder if it might be better to try to go around. But like, if I try to go here first... Yeah, if we try to go here first, and then from there go down to here. I I wish there was a way to set waypoints. Because, like, there's this waypoint. Right mouse adds, removes. So if I was to say, like this, I don't know if they'll actually follow that or not. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I left these guys here because they are my food people. They should be able to restock uh, everything that we need. And as a matter of fact, I think that... Um, Himikin should take priority at this point. Maybe we bring this down to like 10 for the next few days. 
Uh, because there's only two people eating food. Alright. I think my plan is working pretty good over here. It looks like they're eating up the hay grass uh, first. So once that's been done, uh, it seems like they go do other things after that. Okay, we have another ostrich now. That's good. Wild boar 11 and 12 have been born. Also good. Wild boar 8 is being attacked by a finnick fox. <laughs> Oh, that didn't last long. I would like to get this Mega Sloth. I just don't know how possible that is. We'll find out though. We will see. Oh no! Has it come to get its revenge? Finnick Fox has no soul. I'm gonna die in nine hours, but sorry, buddy. You have signed your own death warrant here. Squires is coming to tend to you. Nice. Consume the corpse. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I thought it was just unconscious, so I was gonna have him melee it to death, but it is death already. Oh, let's see how this goes. Alright, Megasloth, I am your friend. I mean, Squires is your friend. Oh, failed. 0.98 though, that's not the worst percent chance I've ever seen before. I think like 0.05 is probably the worst I've ever seen. And I really hope that uh, we don't have anything bad happening to us before the caravan gets back. I am worried, since we don't know what is guarding this thing, I am worried about what it might be. Because I've run across the Manhunter packs and stuff that have basically destroyed me before. Oh, they must be camping right now. Look at that, rots in 73 days. That's so good. Okay, that is going to take us around the pirate camp. Which is ideal, what I was hoping to see. Foggy today. Great up Silent Hill status. Oh, we got some more goats. I know these are actually gazelle because the the ibex are the ones that it says goat leather whenever you kill them. I think is just absolutely hilarious. Yeah, ostrich three, you need to be in the safety zone. They've got plenty of food around here, so I'm not worried about that. But I think that it's also going to restrict them to laying eggs mostly in this area. Yes! We got an alpaca as well. Alpaca 2, you're going to the safety zone. We'll train you to be obedient as well. And now we have a uh, renewable source of textiles. Which is pretty epic. Here's our first ostrich egg fertilized. I'm sure those are being hauled in by the boars. Oh. Wild boar 8. What's your deal, brother? Are you gonna die? Oh, an excellent shield belt? That sounds magnificent, actually. Let's see where that's at first. Wow. It looked like it was a really long ways away until I zoomed out. 
and realize I live right there. So, that's a possibility, for sure. They both have medicine of one. Carrying potatoes, training ostrich too. Uh, come over and tend wild boar eight. Okay, good. We're train, uh, trained. We can trade with a peaceful caravan. I don't think we have anything. All we have is uh, pemmican and herbal meds. So they don't want anything that we have. Um, they have some good weapons and stuff, but that's okay. Let's just keep on going. They're almost there. Should be arriving toast taste. Not toothpaste. That was a terrible joke. Wow. I can't even believe that just came out my mouth. I am ashamed. Okay. Whoa. Pause it, I said. Pause it, I said. Where are the enemies? Where are they all? It's gotta be an ambush, right? Is it these pigs? Wandering? Are there no enemies? At all? Is this an enemyless? Alright, Hubbard, you got the shotgun, so you're gonna have to go in first. Koth, you take a... the back, that's fine. Carol, you're at the side, and Ho. You're gonna stand at the very back, where Hubbard is, actually. To stack up on the door and then we breach. You ready? Goth, you can get on this side. Good. Oh, where are you at? Oh, she's got her peg leg. Well, Harold does too, though. And she's already here. Oh, muscle parasites. Too. I probably should have left her at the base, to be completely honest. Alright, I know there's gotta be somebody in here. Uh, nothing. These are marble, right? Yeah. But what I really came here for was the uranium and the uh, smoke leaf leaves. That kind of stuff. Okay. Undraft. Oh, the gold, too. Yeah. Definitely. Um, let's not be total cavemans. Okay. They can go and do things. Stargazing. Stargazing. It's all fine and cool. Fine and dandy. Man. Best. Absolutely the best that we could have uh, asked for. It's kind of a lame stash, I would say. Um, yep, that's everybody there. All the gold, all the silver. I think I would choose limestone over marble because um, I'm building with limestone. So it's sad that we can't carry everything, but that's fine. Um, what is it 75? A stack of marble blocks isn't that important to me be totally honest, I don't need all of this uranium. And I don't need the steel either. So let's max that out. Only carry six. That'll be fine. Except. And you guys can... Alright. Try this again. No rest for the wicked, don't you know? Fire. Oh, flash storm, rainy thunderstorm, animal starvation, wild boar eight. 
Why are, why are you not taking care of these animals? Extreme blood loss, malnutrition, he's going to be dead in a minute. Up to moderate malnutrition even. As consciousness is zero right now, because max 10% from the blood loss and then minus 10% from malnutrition, it's terrible. About to lose Wild Boar 8. Wires isn't even paying attention. I thought you were the animal man. I think that is a little bit sad though. Um, I'm pretty sure handling doesn't cover uh, taking care of animals. Yeah, taming, training, harvesting resources. But I'm pretty sure it's something like wardening. Yeah, feed. Feed, chat, and recruit. That just says prisoners, but I don't know for sure. Doctoring is probably it, then bringing food. For the sick. Oh no, Ambrosia. Why? Squire's sleeping. Itamu, do you have any kind of melee skill? Not really. I was thinking about grabbing a club and beating on her. Squire should have an okay melee skill. Not really. Okay, Squires, you're gonna come out here, grab this club. Itamu, grab this club. Except Itamu might get attacked here. Let's wait a second, see if Squires can get past her. <laughs> we stand next to each other, please? It's close. Okay. Squires, you're going to have to tend. Alright. We'll get this figured out soon enough. Squires! Trying to select you. Yeah, let's just tend to her right away. No. No. Not with medicine, please. Just tend to her right away. We've only got two Luciferiums to give to her. So after that, she is going to be out of luck. I don't remember if we can make Luciferium with a drug production table or anything like that. I'm going to have to look into that. We haven't been able to get a lot of research done because we've needed so many other things accomplished first. I wanted to get to geothermal power uh, pretty quick so that we don't have to rely on the wind turbines, but they have been serving their purpose. Our batteries are full for the time being. Uh, and we're running three coolers, several other electronics, so... Uh-oh. They're attacking immediately. They're heavily armed. The caravan is miles away. It's not good. Playing horseshoes. Yeah, all of her bleeding wounds have been patched. Squires, why do you have to be a melee character? That's what I want to know. Bolt action is about the best thing that I've got here. And this knife, too. Man, this is not good. It's five of them. I thought so. And it's raining and it's dark. Itamu is going to have a pretty hard time.
I'm wondering if we single out this Fisher guy, if that's going to work in our favor. Kind of exposes her a bit. Squires, what are you doing? You already have the knife? Alright, come up here and melee attack Fisher then. Nice. Oh, dead. Uh, white. Melee of five, melee of four. He's attacking a wild boar. And so is Hakuja. Is the wild boar following Squires? Yeah, they're, they're here. Bolt action. This guy's got an assault rifle. I would really love to kill Anna here. Pirate Jack. What's his shooting skill, though? Eight? Wow. Ida Moose is ten. Hopefully, hopefully she can do good here. Oh, come up here. Pigs! Pigs, why are you abandoning me? Pigs! Horse, come back! Oh man, I really want that assault rifle. So bad. It's just a shoddy 60%. We can take them both down. That's going to be super good. Oh no. Lower down. Nice. Oh ho 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 ho! So good. Look at that. Picked up five beers and an assault rifle. It's only shoddy, but even still. Oh, that's so good. No empty place configured. Oh. This has been filled up. I think I'm going to have to move the, the blocks out, so we need a new stockpile zone. Actually, if I just add... Are they manufactured? No. I didn't think they were raw materials, but they are raw resources. Okay. And I will just disallow stone blocks from in here. Um, we don't have any place to store beer either. Is that manufactured drugs? Ambrosia should probably go in here too. Uh, so that's good. And wart. Because it, I'm pretty sure it deteriorates in heat. Okay, Squires, you can never haul. Um, you can capture people, though. Oh, man. Two colonists, and we took on those five guys. Pretty impressive. We took them all down, too. White is up here. Um, in horrible pain being mauled by the wild boars. Nope. 
Yeah, that is... Oh, okay. Rifle was underneath him. Go ahead and capture white. Oh, we've got a boar down. Wild boar 8, of course. Extreme bloodshot. Bloodshot. Extreme gunshot. Blood loss. Wrong one. Yeah, he's bleeding though also, so I need to bear that in mind. Maybe... Maybe some of the boars will... Uh-oh. He's gotten up. Get him, Itamu. Get him. Before he gets out of here. Will she still capture him, even though he's... Like, what is she going to do? Try to beat him up first, or... Is she just going to pick him up? Okay. That works for me, actually. I don't really mind that in the least. Yep, undraft. Go ahead and tend to her. And then how far away are we? Still pretty far. Oh, they're... Because they're... Stuck there, they're not continuing on. They only have 1.3 days of food and 1.7 days to destination. They should be fine. It's fine. Well, that's where I'm going to leave this episode. If you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you very much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.